Hi, my name is Beth and I'm the sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. In today's video, I'm going to share some things that I've made. This is a new kind of content format for me. I've been sharing a lot of tips and sewing tutorials, but I thought it would be fun to actually show you some things that I've made using other people's patterns. Uh, I love sewing with other designers' patterns because I always learn so much in the process. Um, there's so much to learn about sewing techniques and fit and style that I just love sewing all patterns. So today I'm going to show you four different t-shirts that I've made from four different designers. You'll get to see the style differences and how they fit on my body. And just remember that patterns will fit different body types very differently. So what fits me really well may not fit you really well. Um, so this is really just for fun and reference. My measurements, I am 5 feet 11. I have a fairly long torso. Uh, my upper bust is 35 and a half inches, full bust 38 and a half inches. My waist is about 28 and a half and my hips are about 39 and a half. So just for reference, those are my measurements. I'll tell you what size I made for each t-shirt when we take a look. All right, I can't wait to share these with you. Let's get started. So this first t-shirt is the Jane by Seamward Magazine, which is part of Colette Patterns. Um, and I'm going to link to all the patterns in the show notes. So this is a really classic design. Um, has a pretty high crew neck. I feel like it's really 70s style. Um, this is, all my fabrics are like very random, so I won't give you really information about them. But it's a pretty thin fabric, not a ton of stretch. Um, I think the only change I made was to the neckline. I ended up adjusting this and I have a whole video about sewing neck bands so you can watch that to see my techniques. Um, I made a size medium. I think the fit is pretty good. I've really enjoyed wearing it. The only thing that I don't really like is how high the neckline is but I've just always been kind of sensitive to having things on my neck and like didn't like turtlenecks as a kid. Um, but otherwise, I think this is a great t-shirt. I would totally recommend this pattern. Let's try our next one. This next pattern is the Stellan Tee by French Navy Now. And this is actually a free pattern. Again, it's a really classic design. Um, the short sleeves, crew neck. This crew neck is a little bit lower than the Jane, so it hasn't bothered me at all like, with how tight it is. Um, the only change I made was I didn't do the back reinforcement because I just didn't feel like it, but it's a really nice feature to this pattern. This pattern also has a really cute curved hem. So a really nice, unique design feature. I did not lengthen this pattern at all, but I think if I make it again, I probably would add like an inch and a half. Um, and I made a size medium. So I think it fits pretty well. I really like it. I've worn it a ton. This is the Lark Tee by Greenline Studio. And I made the scoop neck with um, short sleeves. And the great thing about this pattern is that it comes with a lot of options. So a V-neck, crew neck, um, cap sleeve, long sleeve, lots of options. And I think there are also some extensions that you can buy that go with the pattern. I made a size 12 in the bust and then it narrowed it down to a 10 for the hips and waist. I normally do a full bust adjustment when I sew gray line patterns um, when they're woven fabric. So I was a little bit worried with this um, because my bust was a size 12, but my hips and waist are between a six and an eight. So it's kind of a big difference there, but um, I just went for it and I'm really happy with this fit. It's a great basic t-shirt. Um, definitely recommend this one, especially if you're looking for a pattern that has a whole bunch of options. So this next one is the Seamly Tee, and this is done by Indie Sew um, in collaboration with the company Seamly. And it's a pretty classic scoop neck style. I think the arms are like a little bit more fitted than the last two. 
And obviously this is a scoop neck. The pattern just comes with this one view. This cat. <laughs> you. Um, <laughs> Uh, there's a pocket. Um, I used a really, really stretchy fabric and ended up redoing the neckline to make the neckband a little bit longer. Um, I made a size, oh my gosh, <laughs> I made a size large and this one is really long. It goes down like almost over my bottom <laughs> um, and I didn't lengthen it at all. So this one comes really long right out of the pattern. Um, I haven't worn it yet because I just finished, but I'm really excited to have this as part of my handmade wardrobe. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and this new content format. I'm still going to be doing lots of tips and tutorials, so make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and then hit the little bell to stay up to date when I release new videos. Happy sewing!